Hi guys, um, this is a tutorial that I was absolutely dreading doing because um, when I generally do my winged eyeliner it's not exactly even and there are so many professionals on YouTube that just have, you know, just do like amazing winged eyeliner but because it was like requested quite a few times I thought like I really should just do it so I might just be really ambitious and just do it like two different ways so you've got one with a liquid liner and then you've got one with a gel liner so basically the liquid liner that I always use is the bourgeois line pincio I don't know how to say it um liquid eyeliner in black and all I'm gonna do is and I tend to do it like a couple of different ways so it just sort of depends how thick I want the line but I'm just going to start from the inside and do short strokes. And don't worry if it's like not as thick as you want to start with because you can kind of adjust that. And then just bring it out a little bit to like a flick. And then you can go back in and just fill in. And if you want the edge a bit thicker like I do, you can go in again. So, I mean, basically that's pretty much all I do. There's not really a lot to my eyeliner technique. Um, it's just about getting it even. Um, I would say instead of, like, in some of my tutorials, you, you've probably seen me do lots of little short strokes to get it where I want, and that's the easiest way to get control, like, over the brush. Um, so that, you know, was quite straightforward. Um, and all you do is follow the shape of your eye and then just kind of flick it out as far as you want. Um, the second technique, I don't use that often unless I'm going to like a wedding and I want it a little bit more dramatic, in which case I'll show you how I do liner like a little bit thicker and a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to take a gel eyeliner and this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama, Drama Gel Liner and I've got this quite thick, um, it's not quite, it's not really thick compared to other brushes but it's a fairly thick eyeliner brush in my opinion and I'm just going to kind of dunk the end of that in there and move the brush all the way around so the liner kind of gets everywhere and what I tend to do with this one is just slightly different with this one I tend to actually start with I do basically I just do like a lot shorter strokes this one is going to be slightly thicker but I will get it as close to the other one as I can and it just looks a bit more smudgier really I don't know if you guys can even see. And I have to say, I do pull up the end to try and get the line to kind of flick at the top. And then any parts that I just feel like need filling in, I'll just go in and then kind of re-flick up there. To me, um, for a beginner, you can do the same technique, but just using like a pencil eyeliner. So do like, make sure that the brush is quite um, like sharpened and then just do the same thing again. But like I said, always just do short strokes and you can fill in any bits that you've missed out as you go along. Again, I think I'll just show you this flicked out a little bit more. Like that. Um, and that's like pretty much all I do to be honest there's not really a lot if I want a bit more drama I'll just link this line down to the bottom and I'll just sort of go in so I'll just show you what I tend to do if I've got like a wedding and I want it a bit more dramatic I tend to take it like right underneath there and I tend to connect those two lines there and to me that just adds like a little bit more drama to the end if you can see that there compared to that there but the thing is I tend to use like a mixture of gel and liquid depending on what I'm doing and most of my tutorials I use the liquid just because I find it a bit quicker but that's basically how I do my winged eyeliner and I'm really sorry if it wasn't like detailed enough um, but literally it doesn't take me very long at all I'm just going to touch up the edges with that if you make a mistake um, what you can do is just get a q-tip like this and put like a little bit of um 
eye makeup remover on it and then just kind of clean up the edges so just kind of clean up with a mess that you kind of made on it um, what I also tend to find is if you're a beginner just get like a normal eyeliner pencil this is just the um, Urban Decay one in zero just do like a kind of line just a really fake line like it doesn't have to be very tidy and then get one of these smudging brushes like this and if you're not confident doing like a completely straight kind of flick out like this and you're thinking god it's not going to look the same and you're a beginner I would say use the pencil get it as close to your lash line as possible don't worry if there's lots of gaps in it because when you blend it out with one of these you can kind of smudge out all the gaps and that just gives you like a more subtle um sort of I like smoky kind of look that you can kind of just build up um, but I would say if you're a bit nervous but you want to wear eyeliner that's probably the method I would go for um, I tend to find because I don't have much lid space I kind of tend to find that that looks a little bit messy on me so uh, because I've been doing liquid and gel liner for as long as I can remember I'm kind of more confident doing it this way um, but that's just because I think that I mean I've tried lots of liquid liners before I find most of the brushes I find are too flimsy and are too flexible and they just kind of it's really hard to control them with this eyeliner here I find that the brush is just perfect and the like the flexibility of the actual wandy bit like is really good and the brush is not too flimsy it's not too thin and you get a decent amount of product for the for the kind of thickness of the line that I want um I would say with this liner you get a pretty standard thickness obviously you can make it thicker but you if you want a really 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 thin look um you're better off going for kind of the gel and just kind of literally dotting it between your lashes um if you want me to do anything else with regards to eyeliner I can show you but like I said I don't mean to like put you guys off but I think there are so many other people that are just better to watch than me doing this um and generally as you see from my makeup tutorials I don't spend a lot of time doing eyeliner because I generally just find it's quite quick just to do that um, and like I said a couple of methods are the gel which I find is better for kind of long staying power and also I find it really good for like weddings and things like that because I can get a thicker line um, and if I generally try and do a thicker line with the winged eyeliner I actually tend to find I make more mistakes because it's just more for you to kind of you know mess up basically but with the um with the gosh brush because it's fairly thick you get a pretty standard shaped line and like I said you can just go in and fill up the edges and because it's gel you don't tend to make much of a mess really so that is my tutorial for winged eyeliner um if you have any other questions then ask me or if you want me to go through anything in a bit more detail then let me know but that's pretty much what I do and there's not really a lot to my techniques so thank you very much for watching bye